mister. did that because barbarity is poor you know it kept me amused some years you must go my friend before the jean de marie arrive hey you gonna do right by this fella's wife you have done right by her the little bird is free hmm. i am an artist cowboy i must do what i feel look i have an exhibit at the gallery you come see what i mean uh. So kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. I'm afraid I, I can't save the poor. Fair enough. You see, I've been poor. Charity? It never did anyone any good. I'm sure. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. It's just through the market, there to the left. Yep. Okay, Excuse fellas. you! Yeehaw. What a beautiful boy! <laughs> That's my boy.
Hey, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get totally drunk? <laughs> no, it's never gonna be. What is it for? No, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? It? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Come on. You all right, boy? Want to be from wind of him. Well, you fellas must get up real early to get yourselves looking that fine. I don't even know. brought here to the south to help those wise enough to help themselves. Let me... Help you help yourselves! bother you for a minute of your time? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars? I wish you luck, but I can't help you. Of course. I understand. <sighs> Thank you for your time. You ask me, a shelter won't do much good. What a soldier needs is a target, not a roof. But the war is over. The war is over.
Miss Roberts. Well, we got supper now, hadn't we? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have a second? I need more food if you people don't want to starve. I'm talking meat, fish, vegetables. We're not going to cook any of these things. The one thing I cannot cook is air. So please, somebody, go hunting. Come along, you guys, you're getting lazy. I wish you'd stayed at sea. Not now. I'm only joking with you. Okay, Arthur. Was it dead when you found it? Hey. One more time, just for luck. Hello. Is that better? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. They'll do it with someone else. Go on, get out of here! That ain't right, Arthur. Leave that dog be. That's quite a gun you got there. Sure. Something about watching you clean it. Gets me all hot and bothered. I love it. You'll not charm me, Mr. Bell. <laughs> I'll certainly try. Hmm? <laughs> Apologies. Well, don't. Susan! Get out of here! Hey, Charles. That ought to roast up pretty good. There he is. Should make a good stew. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, work harder. You need to start pulling your weight more. You're one to talk. Hey, Uncle. Come, have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. I worry you've pickled yourself so good you'll live forever. Here we go. Like the waves of the bay of Biscay I began to tumble and roar. There's my boy. Hey, y'all. It's Hi. you. That's dead. Dead, dead. That looks fun. I guess. Hiding in your own imagination right, again? Funny now. I don't Get understand, up. Uncle Arthur. I'm only kidding around. Just I leave it, mean, Arthur. Why are you me? poking around here? The boy behaving himself? Can I get some For peace here? Part. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Yeah, goodbye. No, come on, get out of here. 
I think someone saw some wolves not far away. You should watch yourself. Did you think that up all by yourself? Take it easy. I ain't serious. Yeah, a regular... You're acting strange. Just get out of here. Best place you can hide is in a big hole, I reckon. When are you gonna grow up? Sorry. Don't be an idiot, no, Arthur. Now. You ain't right in the head. And make sure you run out of bullets first. That's very important. I'm done with listening to your horse crap. What are you doing there, Arthur? My lady? That looks like Sever to me. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. Surprised I ain't heard you moaning about it. Don't, Arthur, come on. Trelawney? Tell Pearson not to turn that into shoe leather. Looking smart as always. One must have standards, dear boy. What I meant by that is, you look ridiculous. We're sleeping outside, you silly fop. Hey, what did I do? Put that in John's tent. <laughs> See if he notices. All right. Now, one that sounds sincere. No, I'm not playing this game. My lord, you're old. I don't like that tone, Arthur. And time has done you few favors. What are you trying to do here? It's kind of depressing, if I'm honest. Oh. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know you're tough. Is that for Pearson? Hey, Mr. Fancy Pants from Mexico. What are you talking about? Give me a break. Why are you doing this? You look ridiculous. I'm not wasting any more time on you. Cut it out now, Arthur. What are you loitering for? Look at you, all full of piss and vinegar. Nobody thinks you're amusing, Arthur. Pearson's cooking got a lot more sour since you arrived. What's your problem? Hey, take it out on Kieran, not me. 
Not in the mood. You all right there? Very well. All right for some. Strong silent type, huh? Why do you bother with this nonsense? I ain't buying the act. Why have you got a problem with me? We both know you're just plain dumb. Okay. I'm done with this. Here he is. Worst pimp in the history of the world. Hey, what did I do? At least the girls don't feel threatened. Why have you got a problem with you me? You and Mary Beth? I know who I'd pick in a fight. You do what you I remember when you were Duchess number one, Miss Grimshaw. Don't take that tone with me. Now, him. you're a number I can't even count up to. Is this meant to be funny? Look, if you can't take it, don't give it out. All right, I'm not playing this game now. Leave it now, Arthur. Look at you, you goddamn poser. Oh, uh, not this again. Preening like a prize. You hear Why me? Are you being like Stop this? it. Here he is, father of the year. And you wonder why no one likes you. Just go play with the kid. Teach him how to swim. Oh, wait, you can't. Why you got such a chip on your shoulder? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Some pack must be shy of joking. Tell him a story then, you're good at those. Talk if you want, but I ain't listening. Unloaded. Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. You are How one are you? tough old boot, ain't All you? Well? What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh... Who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> But if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. She'll be on his way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Okay, fella. 
Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the fella that told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Okay, here we are. Whoa! Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so 
Don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. came to my village. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. They took them into the streets, stripped them naked, castrated them. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! The village was forced to watch. One of those men was my uncle. Another was a friend of my parents. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. No, mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the Rose Turnoff. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rose a bit. Rose? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fish wire. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll We're believe it when I way. see it. All right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. 
Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? <laughs> you're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him. Move in. You better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Get that one back.
Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Time to go, boy. You still alive? Huh? Son of Get a that bitch. damn horse under control. You've pickled yourself in your own juices. I ain't giving you the satisfaction. Drink. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I cry for a bit. That's my life. That's my goddamn life. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I drink to forget. Oh, hey there. Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. Well, that's good of you. Come on, Mister. Take the load off. The fire's real warm. Mm-hmm. 
Huh. Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Oh. I was a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I might rest the old eyes a minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Me, huh? So, sure. yeah, we'll leave this there. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. 
Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean hey. off you. Come All on. Right. And All I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> OK. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You... Ah. It's me. Stop sleeping. I'm sleeping, Arthur. You were snoring, that's all. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. It seems Jamie may have escaped from the clutches of the Chelonians. So perhaps it was for the best that you didn't go causing trouble on my behalf. Oh, Arthur, you're very wise. I, on the other hand, have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I am afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I hate so to ask, but I have nobody else. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint-Denis. Oh, Arthur, 
I know it is wrong to ask you, but 